welcome to my crocodile stitch tutorial. Um, I'm going to teach you today how to do the crocodile stitch in order to make the flower candle coaster. So the one I'm showing you right now is the poinsettia version. Same pattern as the one you might have seen on my blog, which is the sunflower. So all I do is I change out the colors just to make it more seasonally appropriate. So I'm going to show you how to do the crocodile stitch in the round. So working in a circle opposed to um, a cross like you might make a blanket or something like that. So what I've got, so that's my finished version there. I've already done the center part of the pattern that you can find um, on my blog and I'm going to start with this in order to start my crocodile stitches. So I'm going to get that set up and we'll go from there. So for the first row, um, to make the poinsettia version, I'm using Big Twist yarn. Um, I like the value because it's nice and big. And I'm doing deep red for the first two rows. And I've already got the yarn back attached. You're going to reattach to your taupe circle. And we're going to do the base row for our crocodile stitches. And that is going to be a chain three. And then you're going to double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to chain four but we're going to skip three spaces. And then we're going to double crochet here. Oops. And then double crochet in the next. Now these little spaces that I'm creating are what we're going to do um, our crocodile stitch around. So we're going to do this all the way around and we'll go to the next, the next row. So again, we're chaining four, skipping three, and then doing a double crochet in the next two spaces. So I'll get this row done here and we'll start on our crocodile stitch. All right, we have our first row and what I did is I slip stitched to my first chain. So each of these sets of double crochets are gonna be one crocodile stitch. So each one will be your petal. To start your crocodile stitch, you actually need, I like to get a little bit more of a loop on my hook and I like to turn my work sideways. So we're gonna work along the side of this first chain. I'm gonna put my hook behind there and I'm gonna bring my yarn in front of this. So it's gonna actually wrap around the back just to get it where we want it, which kind of felt strange at first the first time I did these. So <laughs> that is right, that is the way you're supposed to do it. So then what we're gonna do is we're going to start with a chain three and you can see here, I know I've got my fingers on, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's a little fatter, right? That one's got a little more because we did that loop. That's okay, we're gonna work our double crochets over it. You're not gonna be able to tell once we get that covered. So I'm gonna start with three double crochets in this one. That's because that chain that we just did counts as one. Every other one is going to have four. So you're gonna have four double crochets on each, on each double from the row before. So there I've got my four double crochets. Now you've got the two side bars, right? Your two double crochets and then this top kind of bar um, that makes a square there. So now we're gonna do four on the side and then one on the top here. And then we're gonna do a P-stitch, which is three chains. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the first, into the first chain. And that's gonna give you a little bump there on the top to kind of make the petal. And then in that top bar, again, we're going to do one more double crochet. So the top bar has two double crochets and your piece stitch to make the top of the petal. And then we're going to work alongside here the next, the next double crochet from the previous row, doing four doubles in that. So one, two, three, and four. So now this is your first crocodile stitch. So you're just going to keep doing that all the way around. In between you've got those three stitches that you skipped. I like to slip stitch in the middle one and just hold your, your petal down a little bit like that. And then we're going to start working in the next set of double crochets from your previous row. So four double crochets around here. We've got one, two, three, four, 
and it's kind of folding around on itself that's okay I kind of hold it funny just so that I know I'm working into the right stitch whatever you have to do it'll all shape out here when we when we finish so I've got the four there now working in this top bar I'm going to do one double crochet and then I'm gonna chain three I've got my three chains and then in that first one I'm gonna slip stitch to make the little bump on the top and then I'll double crochet into that top bar again and those are all up there and I'm gonna work along the side here and I'm gonna double crochet four to make my next crocodile stitch three and four there you go now I've got two and I'm gonna continue around I'm gonna slip stitch here in the middle and then work my next one there and then I will join back once I've got that completed and I can show you the next row all right so we are back and we've got our first row of crocodile stitches done um, around our center part here and when you're working with crocodile stitches um, in like a, a straight line fashion like you would on a blanket or something like that you wouldn't have to do this this is a modified pattern um, or modified way of using the stitch so what I do is I reattach the yarn on this one I'm doing two of the same color and then a third color on the outer side um, but on like the sunflower stitch it's three colors so you'd have to swap them out anyways so what I do is I'm just gonna reattach my yarn in the loops that we had from the last well the first row not the last row so that's your chain fours now on this one I just wanted to show you this part because otherwise every row is going to be the same thing but on this one we reattach in that chain four I'm going to chain three and do my double crochet so this is going to be my space for my crocodile stitch on my next row but instead of chaining four here I'm going to chain six now the reason we do that oops, um, is because we don't want the flower to fold up on itself we need to give it a little more space so we're going to um, chain six and then you're going to go back to the next space in between the flower or your chain four space we're going to do two double crochets just like this so we're gonna do that all the way around and that's just to keep your flower a little more flat so when we've got it like this and it will curl up a little bit so you can see mine is a little bit but it gives it more space for your back rows there so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep going like that all the way around for that next row and then I will show you a little bit of that second row just to show you what I do to secure the stitches and then you'll just keep doing that until you have a full flower. Alrighty, so we are back and we finished that next row of the spaces for our next row of crocodile stitches. I've attached it. So now, remember, this is the same as the first row except we're working our two double crochets in the chain four from the first row. And for this chain and the next row's chain, we're doing a chain six instead of a chain four just to give it a little more space so it lies flat. So now the one piece I want to show you about this row is you're going to do the same thing as you did before. So I'm going to do a long loop and I'm going to go behind that first chain. I'm going to bring my yarn in front of it and I'm going to slip stitch like this. And I'm going to do my chain three. These are all going to be the same stitch as your other crocodile stitches. So chain one or double crochet one, sorry, two and three because that first chain counts as a double crochet and then we're going to double crochet in the top on that top bar do our P stitch which is three chains and then slip stitching in that first chain and then double crochet around that top bar again and then we're going to do four double crochets around the sidebar that double crochet from our row before so now this is going to be our first crocodile stitch of that row and now you can see it kind of wants to spread around because these are not secure like they were on the first row because they're on a chain so what I like to do so you don't have a, um, a space to slip stitch in but you do have the space between those double crochets in that top bar so you'll see in your in your crocodile stitch from the row before you've kind of got a space here and what I do is I just slip stitch around that bar there just to hold my petal secure so instead of slip stitching in between like we did on this first row 
I'm going to slip stitch in between these two double crochets in between my P stitch on that bar. So, and then you'll just move over to the next one again. So double crochet four. And I'll show you that one more time here. So we've got one, two, three, and four. And we're going to go around the bar. Now this is the bar that we're we're slip stitching in on the on the row of crocodile stitches before. So there's a chain one, three single, and then a slip stitch, and then a double, another double crochet. Then we're going to do our four right here. Three and four. So we've got our second one. Now I'm going to show you what I did again here. So we've got that space in between those two doubles that's kind of on that bar. Not kind of, it is on that bar. And then <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hook in there, grab one up, and do a slip stitch. So that one's secure too. So it won't separate, otherwise they get kind of wonky. I mean, it's not, you don't have to do this, so you can kind of situate them and, and it's not going to separate like that. I like to have my stuff extra secure, so I just think it's a pretty simple extra step. So we're going to keep doing that all the way around in our deep red. And then what I did on my last row is I switched it over to the um, wine color of the Big Twist just to give it a little um, more variety. So finish those two up. Again, the third row of crocodile stitches is going to be the same as the second. And then you will have your finished candle warmer. And here is the finished piece. So you've got your three rows of crocodile stitches and they form out to look like a flower. We've used the red so that it looks like a Christmas poinsettia. Uh, I like to use these for candle coasters. They are perfect for your bath and body works. They fit right in there. Um, they fit Yankee candles really good. You can use it for a just a regular coaster or just some decor. Uh, you can find the pattern, all the written instructions right on my blog um, along with directions on how to make this and many other patterns. Thanks for watching.